there are many concurrent control policies that we can use to ensure that even if multiple transactions are executed uh, concurrently only acceptable schedules are generated regardless how the operating system uh, time shares resources among them right so multiple generally in any uh, system database system you can have uh, multiple uh, transactions executed concurrently so even uh, if multiple transactions are being executed concurrently we need to ensure that only acceptable uh, schedules are being uh, generated regardless of how the operating system uh, shares the resources among the transactions for implementing isolation we have different uh, uh, methods so one is going to be a log based uh, protocol right so a transaction occurs a lock on the entire database uh, before it starts and releases the lock only after it is being committed right so this is an example for a log based protocol where a transaction uh, occurs a complete lock on the database system before it starts and releases the lock only it is after it's being uh, completed so while a transaction is holding a lock no other transaction is allowed to acquire a lock and they have to wait till the lock is released right so as a result of this locking policy only one transaction can execute at a time therefore only serial uh, schedules are being generated so these are trivially serializable and it is easy to verify that uh, they are recoverable and cascadeless as well right so one way to implement is uh, isolation property so what is meant by what do you mean by isolation property so can anyone say what is meant by isolation property one transaction is kept uh, different from another or the one we just learned uh, right so you have a pair of transactions uh, ta and tj they are executing concurrently right so ta is uh, right uh, so you have, you have a pair of transactions <coughs> right uh, so so it is like one transaction being unaware of the other transaction that is happening or not yeah correct correct subramaniam subramaniam has given the correct answer right so you have a pair of transactions so ta start, t, right uh, they are executing concurrently but uh, transaction ta would have thought that uh, tj will start execution after uh, ta completes or transaction tj has already completed its execution and so on so each and every transaction is unaware of the other transactions that is being executing uh, concurrently in the system it's known as uh, isolation property so for implementing this isolation property we have this uh, log based protocol right so this is the first uh, model for implementing isolation so a transaction acquires an entire lock on the database before it starts and the transaction releases the lock only after it has done uh, all the operations on a particular uh, database right so here the other uh, transactions they have to wait until the lock has been uh, released right so as a result of this uh, locking policy uh, only one transaction can execute into a database at a time therefore only uh, serial schedules are uh, generated so again uh, you can verify that uh, this uh, serial schedules are going to be uh, recoverable and cascadeless as well 